What's up guys, this is Hotai7RCT bringing you another Shoot'em Up Crossfire 2018 video. This time around I'm going to be bringing you guys the Switch title uh, from uh, the line of Psycho shooters that I've been very pumped up. Uh, I, I was loud and clear in my messaging to Psycho and I said this and I still maintain what I said back then and it was Psycho throw all of them I will pick each and every one of them because Psycho shooters are freaking amazing now Zero Gunners 2 in this case is uh, one of those titles that is kind of quirky weird and one more reason for you to just go and pick it up it was at uh, some point it was a Dreamcast title I remember uh, Zero Gunner, if I am correct, was a PlayStation 1 title, but this one is uh, kind of like off the Dreamcast version, uh, albeit with uh, refined graphics. They touched up, I think, extensively the, the graphics. They look much, much better, and now, of course, they're on widescreen aspect ratio, so that's something. Still the same amazing price, you know, very low price. It's uh, one of those titles, just like many of the shoot 'em ups that you can find on the eShop that uh, are very low cost, you know, they're not expensive. You can pick them up to have and play between games like main titles, you know, just to let off some steam and stuff. I said it before, I mean, shoot 'em up genre is uh, making a comeback, and thankfully so. Uh, many of us guys out there, like uh, mentioning just a few, uh, Glowing Rice and uh, Paul Winchester, they're very uh, supportive of this genre alongside with me, of course. And any title that we can find that is uh, worth our time, we're going to be all over it. So, yeah, let's go into this. Of course, a Switch kind of makes it easier on me because... Uh, basically to set up everything it's just it's just you know kind of fun and seamless I get to have this uh, layout for you guys and got a very good controller even though I will upgrade very very soon I haven't had the chance during the Christmas season and all that stuff a lot of crazy stuff going on but I will get that switch arcade stick especially now that there's some more uh, shoot 'em ups, really good shoot 'em ups that I've seen uh, that are on the horizon. Uh, bullet hell shooters and fighters. I need to get that Hori arcade stick. That has to happen soon. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, let's go into Zero Gunner here. Let's see, there were two people online. I wonder who those are. Eh. Let's make an escape here real quick and check out who's online. Okay, Donut. Oh, Aaron was on three minutes ago. He's playing Splatoon. Ha ha. And Gordon Rice. He was on too, playing Case Story. Awesome. Uh, Afro saw around here. She was playing Legend of Zelda. 135 hours in. Go, girl. All right. Now, I have already previously set it up. Okay. So it's a matter of just going into the title. Let's go full screen here. Now, I mentioned before it was a little weird and quirky because this one in particular is not your average fare shoot em, shoot em up in the sense that it has this button mechanic where you place the cursor and your ship is going to move or gyrate around that cursor that makes it a bit uncomfortable for first-time users because of course they're not used to that scheme they're used to moving their ship horizontally or vertically in that plane in a 2d plane so it's kind of weird in the beginning but it's very very fun now Like I said, the graphics are a step up 
of what we were accustomed from the Dreamcast version. This is the cursor. Now this is what I'm talking about. You place the cursor and you move and you gyrate around, making it a little bit difficult for you to get the hang of it like for the first time. But once you get used to it, it becomes, you know, it becomes second nature. You just have to practice a bit. Yeah, I remember to get those power-ups. Now, I wish they upgraded the music, just like they did with the graphics, but, you know. What? Jeez, I'm getting pummeled already. Look at that. Alright, that's it. Not good. Not good at all. I promise I'm going to make the most out of this continuum because I kind of got killed a little bit too much there. Also hold the button and just you have two ways of going about this you can hold the button down and just move in that fixed uh, plane like this right here and this axis if you hold the button you're gonna be gyrating around the point of where that cursor came out this is good in terms of control, but it's not very good in terms of you picking up the power-ups and stuff that is left behind, so it's kind of better if you just wing it and just move around and try to fix on the fly. It's a little harder to do, as you can see, by how much I'm getting killed. that power up, damn it. Not good. Alright guys, third and last continue. Because for some reason I'm sucking really bad today. No! Oh my god, that was close. Oh! 
Come on, come on, come on. I made it? Oh shit, that was close. I think I have one more life. guys I just got right into that one that's it not much of a playthrough guys I have to admit that but you know that should give you guys an idea of what to expect but it is a really cool title. It just gets a little bit, you know, it takes a little bit uh, getting used to. But once you do, you know what? Let me go for another one. Hell with it. I'm gonna go with Comanche this time. I am definitely not a quitter. Is it? Okay. Energy, energy. Just gotta keep my energy levels. There you go. Need those power ups. I need those power ups. Get out of there! <clears throat> come on, come on, Chi! Out of there. I got you now. All right. Now we're doing much better than before. done. Right, let's see if we can get a little farther this time around. Oh, I need my power-ups. There you go. Over here. There you go. Come on, we got this. 
this. Get it on. No. Let's continue. Get out of there. Get out of there. Ooh, that, ooh, that was too close. I got you, I got you, I got you. There you go. Looking good. Now, of course, this game has its own visual style that was, back in the day was kind of like revolutionary because, you know, it wasn't 2D sprites. It's all based on the new craze of 3D graphics, so... Like I said, the first one came out for the PlayStation 1, which at the time was a 32-bit platform for 3D games. So yeah, uh, a lot of companies capitalize on the new found 3D craze to build games like this. They have that edgy look. Of course, on the Dreamcast, it's going to look a lot better with the added power. At least as far as the sequel goes. Because the first one, the first one gonna looks way more blocky than this. said one of the things that could have benefited a little bit from an upgrade would be the music because it feels like the music goes in a loop Come on, let's 
cara. Oh, falso, falso. gonna be it guys at least I made it here to 1-4 stage I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, preview showcase of not preview showcase of Zero Gunner 2 for the Nintendo Switch uh, pick it up in the eShop I think it should be $7.99 between $7.99 and 10 bucks. Um, a really cool game to have if you're a fan of the genre and uh, that's going to be all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like and subscribe and share, which is the most important um, aspect for me. Um, share it with other people, uh, like-minded people who love uh, gaming and stuff like that. Zero drama, zero trolling, zero bullshit. So see you guys later. Take care and peace.